character Max Brannan packed his bags and headed for the sun back in 2021 after the drama of life in Albert Square just became too much for him. But in real life, actor Jake Wood is involved in even more drama, swapping the East End for the West End in a spooky stage show with co-star Cheryl. Here to tell us more, it's Jake Wood! <laughs> Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, ça va? Ah, très bien, ah ouais, vous? Merci, oui, pas mal, pas mal. Euh, bon, un petit bois. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I was running around telling all the ça? girls this morning, you know Jake speaks fluent French, don't wow. you? You know he's bilingual. And when he came in, I went, because you speak fluent French, don't you? He went, no. <laughs> 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 You're telling everyone. Yeah, a little bit, a tiny bit. My, my mum's French. Oh, so, uh, that's where I must have got it so, from. Uh, yeah, but she never spoke uh, French to me when I was growing up. She, I think oh. she was still learning English, to be fair. Oh. So, um, oh. But so yeah, how did you sort of... communicate? Uh, yeah, no, she's... <laughs> <laughs> Her English is good now. Oh, right. um, no, but I've got loads of family out in France. Oh. Like my, uh, my nan oh. and uh, loads of family out there. I can't really speak with them. It's quite he embarrassing. He does look a bit French, though, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. yeah. Do this. <laughs> bah, bah. Oh, mais oui, mais oui. Oh, look. Oh. That's all I can do, yeah, yeah. Ah, but you do that right. very well. Thank you very much. Um, yeah. The other thing you do really well is being on the stage. Is it nice to, yes. to swap the telly for the stage? Yeah, it's great to be back on stage. Um, this is uh, a play that I did a year and a half ago, yeah. 222, um, with Lily Allen. And that was, I think, the first time in 18 years I've been back on stage. Wow. Really? Uh, so I've done a lot of theatre when I was a young actor. I've been acting since the age of 10, so I did a lot of theatre when I was younger. And, uh, yeah, it's just great to be back on stage. It's fun. Okay. What really pulled fun. you to go back into theatre? They just called me up. <laughs> <laughs> I love actors, literally, I love that. I saw you many times in the old days on, on the stage and you just are a phenomenal stage oh, actor. thank you, yeah. Which must have been amazing for those mm. women because you want somebody that's really solid and strong yeah. on stage with you if you're chill. Oh, that's Quite nice to hear, yeah. Very scary it must have been for them, both of them. Yeah. Well, never having done it before. Yeah, Lily Allen had never acted before yeah. and she was, like, absolutely extraordinary. Got nominated for... Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. got great yeah. reviews, as, as has Cheryl. And Cheryl, yeah. And, uh, and Cheryl, to date, has been acting probably seven weeks, eight weeks, wow. and is phenomenal. It's like, is, is, yeah, honestly... I've is that been... a bit annoying? <laughs> <laughs> It's not yeah, annoying. We've in this since I was nine. No, 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 it's, uh, <laughs> no it's not annoying. It's, it's, uh, it's fantastic. And, yeah. I, and I think as well for, you know, just, it's, a, it's a real privilege to actually to watch someone who is, is kind of very well known in one area mm. yeah. and make the move to another one and be, you know, be very sort of competent yeah. at it. And, uh, yeah. yeah, it's a real privilege to be on stage with, you know, with Lily Allen and now with Cheryl. It's, uh, so is, it, yeah, it's is it proper scary? Like, yeah, what's you the get, juice? What's yeah, the story? Tell, tell us yeah. how it's yeah. about. Yeah. So, um, so it's called 222. Uh, it's a, it's all based on one evening. It's sort of a dinner party. Uh, and then very early in the evening, Cheryl's character announces that she can hear footsteps on the baby monitor uh, oh. at the same time each night, 2.22. And she persuades her dinner guests, of which I'm one, to stay uh, till 2.22 to see what's going to happen. Oh. Uh, and then the sort of the events mm -hmm. unfold from there. So, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it, yeah, it's very scary. It's very funny as well, in part. Oh. Uh, and, it, yeah, it's... I think it's more of an event. It feels like more an event than a, than a play. The atmosphere of the audience is just off the charts. Yeah. Um, I think just the way that Danny Robbins, the writer, has set it up. It's a work of genius, I think. Oh, it's like God, a, mod a modern, now, modern classic. It's been in the West End for like two yeah. years. It's that yeah. Did you say it's one of the best scripts yeah. you'd ever... It's the best play I've ever read, yeah. Wow. Uh, I heard for great. research that you had to go to a haunted house. Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, went to a haunted house in, in South London, Charlton House. Ooh, I think it's South there's, a, there's a lot of houses in South yeah. London. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what was uh, it like? Yeah, it was, apparently it's the most haunted house in South London. We got there at about 10 p.m., stayed till about oh. 3 a.m. They did seances, Ouija boards. Uh, Ooh, and, all this kind of stuff. and are you a believer in all that? I'm not. No, we didn't see anything that night. Um, Join the club. Yeah, I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of open-minded but sceptical, yeah. yeah. But I think we all know people that have had experiences, yeah, don't yeah. we? So that's Absolutely. sort of, I think, the theme of the play, really, is about belief. And well, at 2.22, someone might be knocking at your door. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if many yes, skeptics... Well, might be, they might be. I wonder if many sceptics come to see the play. Mm. I think maybe... But so it's great to know that it's a yeah. really good play, aside of that. I mean, yeah. doing okay. theatre, it's quite a marathon, isn't it? Because yes. it's like day in, day out, and whatever, a big old slog. And... <laughs> In amongst all of that, you yeah. are actually training for yeah. a real marathon, yet yeah. again, yeah. Uh, Bab's Army, yes. um, in memory of, of Barbara Windsor. Yeah. Mm. Dementia Revolution, yeah. Yeah. Um, and a little bird, 
has told me, and correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. are you going to run the marathon yeah. and then go and do the play? That's the plan, yeah. No. So that, yeah so Have you done a marathon before? I've done two before, yeah, but, like, oh. you know, a few years spread between them. But the, la the, the marathon falls on the last night that we're in the show. Oh, Originally, wow. I was going to take the evening off and everyone, the whole cast, wanted me to sort of... To yeah. do it because it'd be a nice thing to do all together. How many miles? And I thought it's 20, 26 miles. Oh <laughs> my god! So I thought it'd be a great challenge to do the marathon in the morning and then do the show. I couldn't even watch a play. And then do the show in the evening. So, the yeah, I don't, it might be a world first. I don't know anyone who's ever done that before. <laughs> I love that. You're going to be on stage in a sweatband and shorts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll take my medal, I think. Not the, uh, yeah. um, just That'd quickly, a couple of weeks ago, there was a flash forward episode of EastEnders yes, and there I was a that, murder. Yeah. There was, yeah. And there's been chat that mm. you might be the murderer. Well, who knows? I mean, you know, you never know, do you? They've, they've kept Oh, the, the victim! Open. Sorry, not the murderer. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mess that one up, Nadia. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you never know, yeah. It's fasc have... fascinating, isn't it, the way yeah. they've done it? I yeah. think it's a really clever device. Yeah, Cos yeah. obviously everyone's still talking about it. Yeah. And, uh, There's a list think, of women yeah. that would want to kill you, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 You might be on your way to Corrie. Uh, no, they asked me if, if I would do another soap. Uh, yeah, I love Corey. I think Corey's a great soap. I used to do when I was a young actor as well. I did a lot of uh, northern parts. Like I was going to say, how's your yeah. northern accent? Yeah, it's all right. Manchester's all right. It's good. Let's I hear do. it. It's all right. Sort of song like that. Oh, you know, oh. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, people used to think I was from Manchester when I was younger. Some some people that I met because I'd done quite a few Northern yeah, parts. So yeah. Uh, yeah, I love Corrie. Yeah, listen if they're listening, give me a call. There you go. <laughs> I mean, come on. And but, but would you in. would you like to make a return to telly, or do you think that? Yeah, he wants to go on Corrie. Stage, but other... <laughs> <laughs> Corrie. No, I think Pick uh, outside of soaps, maybe. Yeah, no, I think uh, uh, um, an actor's career is always so varied, isn't it? And mm. uh, yeah, of course, I love TV. I love film. I did film when you know You're years brilliant. ago and. Uh, 15 years on EastEnders, so yeah, it's yeah. Just, I think it's now's the time to sort of enjoy some different stuff. Yeah, yeah. you're brilliant. We need your drama. Oh, we need you. all of your We need all Jake. Looks. Yeah, yeah. Give him a massive round of applause. <laughs>